Hello and welcome. Welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess. Today I wanted to share my thoughts or theories or yeah, it is two on Kelly Price. As a matter of fact, it might be three. Now I'm happy that she was found safe and sound. Um, I did watch her statement, her live statement that she gave. And I don't know when the story first broke, you guys. I found out about it Saturday. And I believe that she went live yesterday or Sunday, I believe. And I'm I'm not going to lie. You know, my heart, you know, dropped. I had a feeling in my stomach, a, a sick feeling in my stomach when I first heard the story. I said, wow, you know, your brain, because the world is so horrible, your brain immediately goes to super horrible things. And we I was so happy to see her face down. Oh, let me break this down. This is just a theory. I don't know these people. Um, I'm going off of her interview and what is out in the news now. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the one lady, Nikki Gilbert, she released some stuff that I listened to as well. Now, let's start with the statement when she appeared. Okay. She looked beautiful. Her hair was done and her nails was done. Now, she said that... She uh, had the negative tests like just pa- that past week. So I guess, you know, she went and got herself together. If she had been sitting around looking raggedy, I can feel her on that. And so that's the first thing that popped out. Second thing that popped out is she looked the same in the face, if not a bit heavier. Uh, based on that Instagram, because I went and followed her on Instagram. And... I, Cause I'm like, wow, you know what's going on? I love Kelly Price. So I see the video, you know, scroll down some. I see the pictures with her grandma. Her grandma passes. I see her timeline, and so in that picture, she has like black hair, and you know, black is slimming. It could slim you out some, but she looked exhausted and and sick, you know, and she looked uh, slim in the face. So. That's the first thing I noticed in the in this live statement that we saw. Her face looked full. Um, she looked beautiful. Another thing that I noticed is she said her husband. Now, I thought that she was engaged to be married. So when she kept saying, my husband, my husband, it just took me on down to Mammy Road. I'm sorry, y'all. To Mammy Road, It, it I instantly went down. Uh, this road where it's it, and it's not really just black women. It's it's like women sometimes. They are so hell bent on being married. Like that is like a thing they want to be married. Now I get it. You tired of fortificating, having sex out of, out of marriage. You feel like your life ain't going right because of it. Um, I understand. I've heard a lot of different reasons. <laughs> For people getting married, babies, you know, baby on the way. I don't want to have my baby out of wedlock, all of this type of stuff. Um, And it's kind of wrapped around religion. Hey, she's a gospel singer, right? Okay. And then you learn that she has a 27 year old daughter. And I didn't, I didn't know that. And also a son and a sister that she says she hadn't even been in the same room with for a year, but that doesn't mean that you guys haven't talked. So, she said some things that were peculiar, peculiar, a little strange. They were strange to me. I thought that just that whole breakdown of her distancing herself from the family, like in her words, uh, basically saying, you know, I haven't been in the same room with her in a year, but your granny just died. So my thing is maybe that's not her granny. You know, your brain goes all over. Um, But just because you haven't been in the same room with someone doesn't mean that you don't talk to them, right? And she put the emphasis on her daughter being 27, but that doesn't matter. You're still her mom. And if you had the stuff and they're thinking the worst, I mean, why wouldn't you, you know, it just, that statement left more questions for me. Just the way she worded it. And it's it's almost like she's angry with the sister and the daughter. And so now you got to start thinking about the man. 
I did see the picture of her and the man in the ring and all that. First thing pop out in my head, he had on some type of baseball cap uh, that the young the youngsters wear. Um, people that wear them type of caps, they losing their hair. They're fairly young um, or they're tr- they're old, trying to relive some young fantasy. Some old fuck boy. Normally, I ain't gonna lie, have on wear those hats because when you're a grown man, you may wear a fedora or you you may wear a stylish hat. Um, but if you wear a hat like that, you're going to a game or you're tailgating, like every, the stuff you wear has a purpose when you get older and Kelly Price is older. So maybe the guy is young. And so the first thing that pops in my head is maybe the family doesn't like the guy and you know, there's some rift there. So we don't know. This is all a theory. And so she disappears and they're thinking, oh, did he do something to her? And that's plausible. If you think about what Jill Scott went through, what Mary J. Blige went through, even if it's not just like the horrible, the worst of the worst, maybe they're telling her, don't, you know, make sure you got a prenup. Make sure you got all your ducks in a row. And she wasn't trying to hear that and began distancing herself from her family because she wants this man. And as we know... As we know, women will do some strange, strange things for some ping. Okay, you don't say I'm lying because you know it's true. There are some women on this earth that will kill you, cut you, burn you for some ping that they can't even have because now they go into prison. And... Uh, You got women that wear a diaper and drive 15, 20 hours to go stalk some dude and the new wife. And I mean, you I mean, look at all shit. Exes killing the other one. You know, all types of women do some strange stuff in behind some man. Okay, so this whole thing for me reeks Kelly Price getting attached to this man. And then a distance of herself from the family and like tr- call herself, uh, I guess, eloping. Because, OK, I was thinking that they were engaged in this. She made a point to say a few times, my husband, my husband. And you can see how she lit up when she was saying it. Just saying the word, my husband had this woman lighten up. And, and some women... And, and sometimes it's just bliss, you know. I, I definitely understand that. I still have it. It is just, you are newly wed. You guys are still super horny for each other. You guys love each other so much. And it does feel good, you know, my husband. I like saying the man of the house. I, I don't normally say my husband, but I like to say my, the man of the house or something like that. Um, and you do light up. It it. So to say that what she's experiencing, that it's not real and he's some F boy, we don't know them. We don't know her. We don't know him. And so I feel weird <clears throat> saying that, but maybe the family thinks he's an F boy and think he ain't no good. And again, you have examples, you know, examples that women have lived through and they're just trying. Hell, Holly Berry, she's been through it white like two, three times, right? She's paying out all type of money. Uh, to to guys that she's married to. So listen, that whole thing was strange to me. Now let me get down to the nitty gritty. I don't care what man in your life and how y'all feel or whatever. When you see you see text messages and notifications coming across your phone, day one, okay, boom, I'm too tired. I don't feel like messing with nobody. Day two, still tired. Okay, week one. It's like you reach out. I guess the Brad and some other folks hinted that they had actually talked to her. So my thing is you reach out to the Brad and just folks. So, you know, other folks, but you don't, you don't call your daughter and your sister. I don't care what they did. Right. At least it responded to them. Like, look, I am okay. That's it. I am okay. I don't feel like talking, but I'm okay. Or if they, and then that may not even be good enough because they like, (laughs) 
Hell, these killers, they be sending messages from the phone after they done murdered your ass. So get on the phone, get on the live. They love being on the IG live any other time. They love being, do maybe because her hair wasn't done. I, you know, I don't care. Get on there, FaceTime. Hey, y'all, I'm okay. I just don't feel that good. I don't look that good neither, and I ain't want nobody to see me like this. But y'all, I'm okay. I love y'all, uh, and goodbye. I, I'm Literally, how hard is that? I just don't see, I don't see her, I don't understand why she couldn't do that, you know. So let's break down the sister's interview, which I only watched lit- like two minutes. And I maybe some clips, I caught other little clips. Listen, I didn't watch it straight through. I did hear her say, I am like the matriarch of the family. I remember the sister saying that. That's a red flag to me. I- I'm always... Uh, my ears tune in when someone gives themselves a title. If a person tells me I'm a good person, I am a stand-up person. Why are you telling me and not showing me? If you're the matriarch of the family, other people will tell us that you are. Like that's a title that you've given yourself, a self-proclaimed matriarch with no one else to say, yes, she is. Uh, I, and look, this is number one rule in safety. I am very weary of a person bragging on themselves, telling me just like how awesome and great, all the cr- great stuff that they do. I'm just like, why are they trying to hurry up and get my guard down? They trying to make me trust them quick. They don't want to go through the proper channels of time and testing time and proving yourself and letting time tell and test you. You want me to hurry up and trust you, hurry up and do something, most likely to manipulate me, free me up of some money, free me up out of my ass, or whatever. You know, some, they want something. And so when she said, I am the matriarch of the family, to me, that was a red flag. No one is here to confirm that you're the matriarch of the family. You just giving yourself a title. So that's probably why I didn't listen to them no more of the interview because something wasn't right about that. Um, another dynamic here, theory, dynamic, or whatever, they may have thought that that woman was gone, gone, kicked the bucket, and they had counted up that money already. They had already counted up the money, counted up the whatever else they was going to try to get. And, and I know it sounds bad because I don't know these people, but look, this is a theory. This is a plausible theory. And so now you don't hear, hear you know, they might have been thinking like, OK, so this guy, is he somewhere manipulating records, um, you know, signing stuff and putting stuff all in his name? And they're trying to make sure that, that the sister is OK. And if she's not, that he's not transferring stuff and doing things that he's uh, not supposed to do. So that could have been part of the urgency as well. Not knowing if she's okay, not knowing if this new guy is transferring and doing stuff that he don't got no business in regards to her assets. Now, I don't, I, I wouldn't say that, that that's technically wrong for them to be concerned. Um, I, it, it is a little greedy, a little, little, a uh, little low key greedy, but it, it is a valid concern if, if someone you believe may no longer be with you. And you have this new, brand new guy transferring, you know. So that's my thoughts. It, it could go in any one of those directions, y'all. But I, it's just not right. It just don't smell right. It doesn't feel right. I don't. I don't know a mother. I don't know anyone that would do that to to someone. I mean, I, there's people in my family that I don't necessarily get along with. I don't agree with their lifestyle. But if I saw five missed calls from them and a whole bunch of texts asking if I'm okay, it doesn't even matter what they were asking. If I see that many missed calls, even from somebody I really ain't even messing with in my family, I'm still going to call them back and tell them, tell them that I'm okay. And more than likely, I'm going to call them back because in my family, they just called and tell me somebody died and they're going to tell me about the body. And some people in my family are very morbid. So... In that situation, even 
a person I really don't mess with. If I saw their number come across my thing that many times, that many texts, I would I would have to reach out. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me that this woman would just leave everybody unread and then like reach out to De- allegedly reach out to DeBrad and to whoever else she reached out to. And now she reached out to the Nikki lady. So my thing is, so once these people, did they go and tell the sister and this daughter like, hey, y'all OK, because they still out here doing television promos. And I guess that the daughter, she tweeted or text, you know, put something out on the Internet where she's saying, you know, in regards to what her mom is saying, letting people mislead her. She she responded to that, like misled, you know, so are you saying that your 27 year old daughter is slow or something? I mean, the way that she throwing it, throwing them, throwing the sister and the daughter and everybody else under the bus, that's strange, too. Unless they obviously, you know, and I don't know. I just don't believe that you deal with this type of stuff um, in this way. Right. Um, and then there's also the mammy theory. And we all know. And, and Kelly Price used to be a big girl, too. I know some big girls that pretend to be confident. Right. But deep down inside, they want that weight off of them. <laughs> and then I've known some that lost well, some, I'm saying like one or two. I know some that have lost the weight, but then they have all this reconstructing to do of the skin and the this and the that. And it's a long journey. And it's beautiful if you can find somebody to go through that journey with you. But I'm telling you, these people have low, severe low self-esteem. And if a vulture, if a buzzard flies in and can put on that mask and pretend good enough, they, they be easy. These people are in a vulnerable state where they be easy to trick. It's easy to fool them and make them think that you like them. You know? And, that, and that's the biggest thing. Because Kelly Price is beautiful. Most big ladies are beautiful. But the, the challenge of losing that weight with the extra skin and the reconstructing and all of that, it, it is a arduous process. And it's like you sitting here, you thinking to yourself, this woman lost all that weight. She looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, she should be living her best life. Right. Wrong. Because just because she lost that weight doesn't mean that that mentality is gone. And, you know, it takes a lot. I'm not saying that that she hasn't done everything that she needed to do to be healthy and healthy minded. But um, the crazy dog, this dog is a nut. The little one is the nuttiest one. Okay, so I'm not saying that she didn't do all of the steps and that this isn't true love, which I really, truly hope it is. But honey, when you dealing in mammy land, these women will do anything for some peen. They finally find some peen that they think like them. Honey, some of these women will throw their daughters, their mamas, and whoever else they can find under the bus to try to keep that man, even through abuse, even through signs of their children being abused, just to keep a man. Some of these women will mammy their way through life, overlook every last single thing that this man do, just so they can have uh, some worn peen next to them. And all along, this man ain't worth nothing. He ain't worth even having. And I hoped, I hope that this is not the case with this woman. Because Kelly Price is very beautiful, beautiful voice. Um, And I just, you know, I just would hate for her to have her. I, I, I know that she wants that forever love. Every, well, I ain't gonna say every woman, but most of us do. We want that forever love. I hope that she found it. I really do. I don't understand alienating yourself from your family to have it, but we don't even know if that's the case, but it just seems so strange that you would come out the hospital, folk thinking the worst about you, and you won't even call your people, you know, and if they lying on her, and she did call, and she did tell them, and they did all of this stuff to be on TV or be in, you know, get some props or whatever shame on them shame on them and 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 you never know because some folk want to ruin your marriage ruin your damn wedding 
people come to your wedding drunk and folk come dressed just like you and you you never even know what goes through people's minds and a lot of times it does it's your friends and family and people that's closest to you it's not total strangers it's people you've known all your life that'll do you the worst when i tell you to do you so dirty so maybe this woman wanted to go on off she said look you grown you 27 years old i set you on this path you do your thing son you do your thing Sis, I can't fuck with you. Love you to death. You do your thing. I'm good. But even if she had parted ways with them like that, if you sat up there and left them people unread and had these folks run around worried about you, I still think that that's bogus. And if them people knew you was okay and they did all of this stuff to be on TV and get uh, whatever little social media fame, little five minutes of fame, shame on them. Shame on them. Um... You know, overall, this situation is strange. You could tell me what you think in the comments, your theories. You know, we don't know these people. Uh, all we know is what's out there. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And like always, thank you so much for listening.